I've got two pieces of walnut here. They're an inch and a half square. And for the stick I'm making, they're about 19 inches long. And that can vary from person to person. I, I want the grain to come together in the middle, so I've got, to, I've got that marked. This is going to be the top piece. So I'm going to mark this one. I'm going to put tenon. And insert. Because this is the end that gets the threaded insert. That way I don't make a mistake when I'm drilling. This and I'm going to mark all thread. And, and tenon. This will be the middle. This will be the bottom that the foot goes on, or the extension for the foot. Okay, this is the piece that attaches to the handle. I've got it marked insert and tenon. I'm, um, I'm going to put it between centers with the insert toward the headstock, the insert in toward the headstock. First thing I'm going to do is round this in for my tenon to fit into the handle and then I'm going to make a bead to match up with to match up with the handle. I'll start with my bedan. It's just about right. This is for a glue joint, so it doesn't have to be super snug. That's just about right. And my diameter is pretty close, so I'm going to smooth that up a little bit and then form the bead. Since I'm between centers, I can take this out and put it back in exactly the same as it was before. I don't have to worry about it going off center. I'm going to switch to my um, skew I think I need to drill for the threaded insert and um, I don't have much of a tenon here to hold on to with my chuck. If I turn this around and drill from the tailstock in it's going to want to wave around at me. It would be hard to keep it on center. 
So I'm going, to, I'm going to drill from the headstock in. I'm going to bring my tool rest up and use it to, to support the, the, the piece. I want to drill a little bit of a countersink for that threaded insert to fit into. I'm going to use a 5 8 drill bit for that. Just going to drill this about an eighth of an inch deep. A little deeper. We'll talk about threaded inserts a little bit. Um, if you've never used one, it's important to know they're a pain in the butt. Um, This is a 3 8 16 insert. Besides being a pain in the butt, the next thing you need to know is, or a person needs to know, this looks a lot like a screwdriver slot. It's not. It's um, actually decide to make sure the hole is the right size. This takes a 15 30 seconds hole. Um, even with the right size hole, these tend to go crooked. Um, it's just really, really hard to get them in straight, and that's going to show up when I when I screw this stick together. So I'm going to drill a 3 8 pilot hole first. I'm going to drill it just over two inches deep. I'll show you why here in a minute. about two and a quarter inches deep there um, with my pilot hole. And now I'm going to drill it for the 15-30 seconds. Two reasons I drilled that pilot hole. First reason is this is a bit for metal working. It's going to tend to follow the wood grain and I don't want it to do that. So I drilled a pilot hole to help it guide, to help guide it. Back this off here. <clears throat> Second reason is, is because by drilling such a deep pilot hole, it's going to help me get that insert in straight. I'm going to drill this just over an inch deep. Even though the insert's only about an inch, I'm going to go about an inch and a quarter, maybe a little more. Okay. So now I've got a I've got a 15 30 seconds hole about an inch and a quarter deep. I've got a countersink about an eighth of an inch deep, and I've got a 3 8 pilot hole over two inches deep. that does for me is let's this threaded rod go in that 3 8 pilot hole okay so now I'm going to back that all thread up oh about 3 8 inch half inch This in my tail stock. Bring it up to my chuck. And tighten it down. Get a little tail stock pressure. Um, one thing I want to do before I do that, I'm going to get some wax on this. 
You need all the help you can get with these things. That's mineral oil and beeswax. This is the only way I've found to have any chance of getting these things in straight, and even then it's not 100%. Okay, so I got some tailstock pressure. We'll start turning this in. I want to be careful I don't bottom that all thread out. Okay, I've got I've got the threaded insert installed in this. I'm gonna put this homemade code cone center on my tail stock. You get an aluminum one with the one way life center, but for this I want to use a wooden one. I'm gonna put this in my chuck on the uh, tenon. This insert now becomes my center. So put this in my chuck, bring my cone center up. I'm not going to touch this bead again. Um, I'm done with that. This wants to be about 1 and 3 16 on this end. So I'm going to get that round and um, set my 1 and 3 16. I'm going to round on this some more. Okay, about halfway between one and a half and one and three sixteenths would be, oh, about halfway between um, five sixteenths and three eighths. So I'm going to eyeball the center and mark that. Okay, start bringing that in.
Okay. I'm going to look for high spots. Um, the best way to do that is with a pencil. This is just a piece of three quarter inch plywood with um, sandpaper glued on it. I'm, I'm not going to try and sand the high spots out because this will go out around if I do. What I'm going to do is just lay it on there and it will expose the high spots so I can machine them.